Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to review another handcrafted artisan photo book for you by Milk. This was a book that I was meant to try ages and ages ago, but I just never got around to it for some reason. This book was definitely on my bucket list and now I've got it. So I'm going to talk about the classic book in this review, but obviously I'm going to mention everything else in the range. And I also have a swatch kit that I can show you later on. So who is Milk? Milk is a company in the United States and their printing station is in Hong Kong. If I'm not mistaken, that's where the book came from. Let me just read up what they say on their website. So, because I don't want to say anything rubbish. Almost 20 years ago, our founder, Jeff Blackwell, whose family has been making books for over half a century, was so inspired by the idea that he began the Milk Collection. Jeff ran a global competition and gathered over 40,000 professional and amateur photographs which celebrated the very best of humankind. From these, 300 images were selected to be the heart of the exhibition and used to create the three milk titles, Family, Friendship and Love. The books were a global success, selling 4 million copies and 75 million greeting cards. A decade later, Jeff had the idea of creating a new print-on-demand photo book service business for anyone to celebrate their own special moments in beautiful books and albums and in 2012 milk tailor-made books were launched so that's the story of how it came about let me just quickly sum up what the company offers they obviously have gift items but the main range is the photo books and photo albums as you can see that the range is divided into books and albums and the difference is that the albums are flush mount and the photo books have standard pages which obviously bend so that's the two main ranges obviously the photo albums are a lot more expensive they should be used mostly for weddings and special occasions and the photo books can be used for anything really if you like this kind of a look from travel babies, weddings, parties, family and you know any kind of occasion I think the book is really suitable for anything. So the book looks like this, it has quite an iconic look, it's very hard to to not recognize it. They always have a picture on the front which is kind of stuck onto the cover. When you open the book it's beautiful, let me just show you these pages. So this was made from my trip to Maui and now instantly you can see the kind of layouts that you get in this book. Um, it's very minimalistic, very few pictures, very nicely laid out, some text uh, in little corners and things like that. So as you can see, it's not a crowded book and it's not full of stickers and colourful embellishments and backgrounds. This is a book for people who like a clean, elegant and luxurious look. Now let me show you what you can get. So you can order one of these swatch kits which looks like an iPhone box. I absolutely love it and it comes out like that milk and you'll have every single paper type and cover option from the whole range and this is a great thing if you buy somebody a voucher because you can get this with the voucher so when they get the voucher they can look through all the materials and options and then they can make an informed decision before they spend the money that you give them Obviously, if you want it for yourself, you can do that too. You can just get one of these if you feel confused about the materials, if you want to touch them, if you want to feel them, if my review is not convincing enough about what you can choose. So uh, the price varies. It just depends how you get it. If you get it separately or if you get it with the voucher, I think it's cheaper. So you need to check it on the website. There's also postage applies. Now I'm gonna go into my up close shots, show you the cover, binding, printing, paper and the editor and then I talk to you about the delivery full price and the pros and cons of this book. Let's start with the unboxing. So it was in a DHL bag and then inside you had this bubble wrap which comes off. This specific book didn't come in a presentation box. It's not an option for the medium classic. You can get it for the bigger ones and the premium books but not for this one. So it was in a brown box and then this is by the way just a post box, this is not the presentation box but it's nevertheless quite a nice box and then you take it out and there we go, you have a little milk logo there and it's a nice parchment paper and then that's our book. Let me start with the sizes. 
Now it's again a little bit confusing but it depends on the book type. This specific book is the classic photo book which comes in the medium and large. The medium is 9.25 by 7.4 inches which is this one here so you can see compared to my hand and the bigger one is 13 by 11 inches. If you do choose the premium photo book that comes in a portrait landscape and square size in the medium and large and the same is true for the photo albums and you've also got a chapter book which is a, in a smaller size. I would like to see more sizes for the classic but um, if you want a different size you can always go for a different book type. Let's go into the covers. Now this is where the handcraftedness starts. It's a beautiful cover, it's a one of a kind and it definitely has a special look about it. So the classic book comes with a linen fabric colour and there's a photo stuck on the front as you can see. Hopefully you can see. Yes. And you've got three designs to choose from for the front cover, so it's it's always the same one photo and the cover, but you can also have your title in the bottom. I chose not to have any text, just a picture. And then this linen comes in seven different colours, which is sand, ivory, black, charcoal, pink, red and blue. I showed it in a second. So that's the front and on the spine you've got a little um, button which I think is really really cute and on the back you've got a silver milk logo and nothing else so there's no option to put a photo here. So let me show you what I also have. So this is the swatch kit. I absolutely love the box. It looks like an iPhone box. I know it has no relevance to the photo book but I just love nice packaging and stylish minimalist things and this is certainly one. These are the fabric colors for the photo books. That's the sand, that's the charcoal, that's the black, pale pink, baby blue and red, ruby red. And mine is somewhere here, where is it? Yes, ivory. So beautiful colours, one for everybody. And then if you go for the um, for the premium books, then you've got um, natural linen, which has a slightly different texture, pepper, a different ivory, stone, um, seashell, blush, and steel blue, rose red, black buckram, I assume that's how you pronounce it, pearl metallic. Um, metallic blue, I think that's really pretty, and deep blue. And then for the photo albums, you've also got the leather covers, which comes in black. It's a very, very smooth leather, uh, winter white, and that's it. So let's put this onto the side. So that's all about the covers. Now let's move on to the binding. So some of these books are perfect bound, and some of these books are stitched, and some of them are flush mount. So the classic which I have here is stitched and I have to admit this is the first book that I have which is stitched and I absolutely adore it. It's so different and it has a much nicer look to it than the perfect bound look that I'm used to from non flush mount books. So let me show you how it starts. It starts with a beautiful double empty spread then another empty sheet on the left side and then the book starts. and. As soon as I start paging you'll notice that it stays completely flat and although it's not marketed as a lay flat book it does stay flat but it's not seamless lay flat because it's not printed as double spreads so it's still printed as separate sheets but because of the stitching it stays fully flat so you can have a look at the stitching in the middle that's how the book stays together and let me just give you a few more pages So you can see some of the designs again. On the back it again finishes with a double spread, you've got a milk logo in the bottom and you also have a lovely bookmark in it and let me show you how it looks from the top. It's very pretty, very handcrafted, it kind of has a library look, an old school look which I like. If you go for the big one, the large classic book that's going to be perfect bound, 
which means that the pages are glued together at the spine and it doesn't stay completely flat as far as I'm aware. The photo albums are all flush mount, which means that they are printed on double spreads. It's completely lay flat and there is a strong sheet inserted between the pages, which makes it really sturdy and rigid. Now let's move on to the paper options. The classic comes with only one paper option, which is a silk um, let me be specific, it is a Fedrigoni Free Life paper, so it's a satin, they call it satin. The coating is very similar to your average silk paper, but it's a bit smoother and it's almost completely matte. It has very subtle sheen glare as you can see. It's brilliant white, so colours look really good on it. And as you can see, just a very, very subtle sheen, but it's certainly not a glossy paper. Now, if you go for the premium, you've got three more options. So let me just show you those ones as well. They are in my little swatch kit. So you've got the satin as the basic choice. Then you've got a matte wide, which is 140 GSM. And then you've got the textured 140 GSM, which I think is very pretty. Ah, that's it, so you can see the texture. If you like an artistic paper, then this is for you. And then the last one is the matte ivory which is a little bit more of a creamier tone to it. It's very similar to the satin, but slightly creamier. These are the options. And for the flush mount books, if you want those, you've got Photo Lustre 190, which has a very subtle sheen. It's not as textured as most lustrous papers, which I see, which have the pearly texture. This one seems to be completely smooth. And then you've also got the eggshell, which is again, Hopefully you can see the textured paper. So those are the options for the albums. Right, focus. Let's move on to the printing process. All of these books are printed with digital printers. There is no silver halide option at the moment. It's not a bad thing. Obviously I do love a silver halide print for color accuracy, but these ones actually look really nice. Now the classic book is printed using four colors and the premium ones and the albums are printed using six colors. It doesn't make a huge difference, but it does make a difference. You get slightly more shades, so it would be a little bit closer to silver halide if you get the six colors. But let me just show you the print here, a few more pages. Now what I noticed is that it is more on the cooler side of the temperature spectrum. As you can see, it's a little bit more bluish than yellowish. Now this is all up to your taste. If you like colors to stay as neutral as possible, then this is your book. If you like more warmer colors and um, kind of more tropical tones, then you will need to change your pictures to a slightly yellowish uh, tone because it prints out a little bit more on the cooler side. But other than that, uh, I'm really happy with the print. It's a really, really good digital print. Um, no errors anywhere, it's beautiful. Final thing is the editor. Now this is an online editor. It's a very nice editor. As you can see, it's extremely minimalistic and that's what I love about it. Some of these layouts are so cool. Just a tiny bit of text with a nice shape photo. Um, it's not like mixed book. You're not going to find loads and loads of stickers and backgrounds and things like that. It's very simple, very straightforward. It looks elegant, it looks expensive, it looks um, luxurious. But the biggest problem with the editor is how it handles the pictures. I uploaded my pictures, I think four times and every single time they were out of order. So they were completely mixed up. I tried to arrange them by date, by date created, by name, by file size and whatever there was, I tried every single option and none of them managed to get my pictures into order. I don't think it was my picture's fault because um, I was taking all the pictures with my iPhone in the same three day period, so the time tags should have been correct, but it's something to do with the editor. I don't know why it works like that. I think it's a bug that needs to be fixed, but just putting it out there, it's an amazing editor, but the picture handling could be a little bit better. Okay, doc, so delivery. The book came from Hong Kong with DHL. It was very, very quick, but it was a little bit expensive. So shipping international was 19 pounds, and I think to the US is 15. So although it's very quick, it's a little bit expensive, so think about that before you order the book. The full price of this 40-page classic photo book was 
47 pounds without any discount. What you need to know is that you can make this book 20 pages long, but you still have to pay the 47 pounds. So 40 pages is the minimum charge, but you can have 20 pages, but you have to pay for 40 pages. I hope that makes sense. Deals, Milk offers regular deals on these books. They've got two kinds of deals. One of them is the usual discount, so 20, 30, 40% off. And the second one is a credit discount. So you can buy a credit now at a cheaper price and create the book later. If you haven't got your pictures yet, for example, if you had your wedding, but you're only going to get your pictures in two months, then you can buy one of these credits when the price is cheap and create the book later on. So I think that's a really great thing about um, discounts when you can use them at a future date. So let's get to the final thoughts, the pros and cons. Let's start with the pros. The papers used in this book are really nice and special. The covers are absolutely beautiful. I really love the design. It's minimalistic, it's elegant. It's exactly what you need. It's clean, it's not overcrowded. I was absolutely in love with the binding. I love the stitched binding. I know it doesn't come with every single book, but with this one, it was my first book which was stitched and it was certainly a winner for me. The swatch kit that you can order is absolutely beautiful and I think it's really nicely presented. The box is beautiful, the way it's put together is really nice and it's just something quality that you can hold in your hands. And uh, my next point is going to be about the website. So it's a really nice website, it's pretty, it's eye-catching, it's easy to use, it gives you all the information that you need about the papers, the, the quality, the printing and the options that you can get with the books. And finally, I think the price is really reasonable for such a handmade book. Now, just a few of the cons. None of these books are silver halide at the moment. All of these books are printed digitally, some of them with four colors, some of them with six colors. The second con is that the cheaper books come with very limited options. If you want a different option for these attributes, then you have to choose a different book type. So I think it would be nicer to add a few more options for the basic books as well. Next, the shipping I think is a bit expensive. Just comparing it to the other photo book companies which can make shipping five, six pounds, 16 or 18 pounds I think is substantially more. And finally, the one thing that I didn't like about the editor was that my pictures got mixed up. I think that's something that could be fixed and then the editor would be perfect. So these were my thoughts on the Milk book. I hope this was helpful to you. And if you haven't heard about the Milk books before, then you certainly should check it out now because it's beautiful, it's pretty and it's handcrafted. If that's your thing, then you should definitely check these out and have a sample book for yourself and I can guarantee that you'll like it. Um, if you have any more questions about this book, leave them in the comments section and I try to answer them. If I see discount codes for milk, I'm going to leave them on the blog, thephotobooker.com slash deals. So you can always come there and look for discount codes for milk as well. Thank you for watching and as always, subscribe for more.